and the occasional back elbow. Sometimes the fight between the world's big aircraft manufacturers feels a little bit like professional wrestling. Uh, now Boeing has found a tag team partner. The US plane maker is embarking on a joint venture to make commercial aircraft uh, with Embraer from Brazil. Uh, the new company is valued at $4.75 billion. Their opponents in the ring, a similar partnership formed last year between Airbus and Canada's Bombardier. Let's get ready to rumble now. Uh, I'm joined now by, from San Francisco rather, by Ken Herbert, Managing Director of Aerospace AMD Defense Mechanical Genuity. Thank you so much, Ken. Appreciate you being with us. So this essentially would make Boeing the market leader when it comes to small passenger jets. Just walk us through what this means for the likes of, you know, the C-Series with Bombardier. Yeah, so this effectively I view as a, as a transaction that Embraer had to do after Airbus uh, invested in Bombardier and the C-Series in particular, and that recently closed. Um, then obviously Embraer is launching a new line of aircraft, the, uh, the E-2 aircraft, which is a follow-on to its E-Jets, competing in the similar marketplace, and I think suddenly felt a uh, much more uh, different market dynamic from a competitive situation. And so they would of course, been in, in public discussions or at least uh, acknowledged discussions with Boeing for several months, seven or eight months. Uh, the companies will say they've worked together in the past extensively. So I think it's just a natural step for, for Embraer and, and a must-do transaction. And I think Boeing uh, gets access to a market now that's maybe not clearly going to be as certainly as large as any of the other markets they're in on the aerospace side. but you know, gives them some optionality. So on the one hand, as we were just talking about, you've got Airbus and uh, Bombardier, you've also got Boeing and Embraer. I mean, what does that mean? What does this duopoly mean for new entrants, say, from the Chinese market and or the Russian market? So it'll make it incrementally that much more difficult. I mean, you need to remember these sub-150 seat aircraft or, or, or regional jet markets traditionally were not something that either Boeing or Airbus had had actively participated in and really viewed as that attractive. So now, you know, maybe that's changed a little bit, but clearly they've gone down into these markets and are, as Boeing said today, a uh, one-stop shop for a 70 to 450 seat aircraft. So now that Boeing and Airbus are going to be investing more in these uh, markets for the smaller aircraft, I think it'll clearly make it more challenging for new entrants, whether they be out of Russia or of course the Comac uh, aircraft out of China. But this deal still does require regulatory approval. I mean, you know, what are the, what are the chances? What, what could block this? Well, it's hard to quantify, but sure, you've, you've got a relatively, uh, you could argue, volatile political situation in Brazil. Um, I think part of the reason that this uh, had been in negotiations for so long was, was the Brazilian government clearly wanted to ensure that, you know, Embraer is a, is a national champion company down there and, and a very much a pride of Brazil. So... There's a lot at stake politically as part of this. So, sure, they, they've, Embraer and Boeing have said uh, they don't expect this to finally close until the second half of 19. So there's a lot that still could happen. But I think fundamentally the market dynamics are such that, that it'll be difficult for Embraer to walk away at this point. Um, and the valuation and, and the, the financial aspects are such that I, I, I see very little reason why Boeing would want it to walk away. So certainly still some risk, uh, potentially uh, volatility from a political standpoint. But I would argue it uh, looks like this deal will eventually happen.